guys, what's up and welcome to another COD Mobile video. Today we are going to check out the brand new season 4 battle pass. So definitely make sure to watch the full video and do not forget to smack that sub button. And with that being said, here we go. So let's start off with the characters. So my favorite has got to be Reaper styled assassin. Like I said in my previous video, I originally thought this was going to be in a lucky draw. That is how good this skin actually is. So in my opinion, this is a massive W and I would say this is the best character in the battle pass this time around. My second favorite character has got to be Dame, the only female character in the battle pass this time around. Her mask and hood look really cool. It's not a very flashy skin, but at the same time, it manages to look really nice. Also, the green accents on her go very nicely with the DRH also in this BP. Even her eyes are green. I actually only noticed that right now. The third character we do have is Knight Brute. It's his first time making appearance in COD Mobile, uh, originally from a Cold War. Honestly, another neat character. Main takeaways is his massive cape and his skull helmet. It's almost like they took a viking and merged it with a modern day soldier. Overall, it's a pretty neat skin. The final character we have is American Bulldog Inner Crimson. It is a reskin pretty much in yellow gold. I wouldn't say it's a bad skin, but it's also nothing special. I would say this is the only character I actually don't like this time around in the battle pass. Moving on, we now have our gun skins, starting with the Bison Gilded Dawn. Now in the teasers, I really did not like this blueprint at all, but now seeing it in game, my mind has changed quite a bit. It's actually a really neat clean skin. Not bad at all, do not though it does have base sights. The next gun we do have is the Kilo 1 for 1 Gentleman's Calling and this is what I call an epic skin, hands down the best blueprint in the battle pass this time around. Not only does it have amazing custom geometry, it also features custom sights. In my opinion, this is a 10 out of 10 skin. Next we have a GRH known as Harrowing Knight. I would say this is my second favorite gun in the battle pass. It's an 8 out of 10. It also has really nice custom geometry and it does have custom sights. Overall, really nice. Next we do have the Man of War Dial Tone. Now in the lobby, it looks really nice but in game, it is very basic. Do note though the in-game look is not complete. It's an okay skin but yeah, it's one of those skins you'll forget about in a couple of months. Moving on to our final skin which is the Lapa. Yes, you heard that correct. We aren't getting the new gun at tier 50. We're getting a Lapa for some weird reason. Uh, not a big fan at all about this change. I don't understand. I think it is dumb. Uh, yeah, very very weird decision. I don't like it. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down below. But besides that horrible decision, the Lapa looks okay. It's got some neat designs, but yeah, I would have much preferred to receive the OTS-9 instead. So yeah, a very weird decision in my opinion. So overall, that's the guns. For the most part, they look really good in my opinion. Moving on, here is the new emotes, and yeah, it is actually really good. Check it out. The backpack is also really nice, especially if you are a fan of more realistic gear. Here is the avatar, where we have Reaper having a drink. The calling card reminds me a lot of Monster Energy, but I'm pretty sure it's linked to Dame. And finally, here is the frame, which matches the Lapa perfectly. Now besides those items, you can also get a mechanical bat charm, the new BR class, and the base version of the OTS 9. So okay, that is all the main rewards for the Season 4 Battle Pass. And now, let's check out the Battle Pass subscription. So, 
For the guns, we do have the Peacekeeper Vengeful Urge. It is a very forgettable skin. It's an epic which should have been a rare. The character though is a solid skin and that is Reverse Blight, a really nice military skin. It's the complete opposite of her last skin from the previous season. Overall, not a bad character at all. The final item is going to be this backpack known as Shadowy figure. Moving on to our last piece of battle pass info and that is regarding the new battle pass vault which is going to be the season 1 new order BP from 2021. So okay that is everything you need to know regarding the season 4 battle pass. Now for the most part I think it is a really good battle pass however I do hate the decision they made to remove the new gun. But besides that, I'm happy for the most part. So guys, definitely give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. And with that being said, that is going to be all from me. So, thank you for watching, have a great day, and for now, squally out, and cheers, catch you in the next one, and bye.